<laughs> if something tastes as filthy as coffee, that's so bad you need to add sugar and creamer and milk and whatever into it, then maybe you shouldn't drink it. <laughs> But alas, for today's video, we need the utmost energy. Oh my gosh, ladies and gentlemen, what a random, absolutely random video topic that I'm doing today. And if you're subscribed to me and you're watching, I hope you're here for the personality, little, little personality, as opposed to, but wait, this isn't a movie. What's going on here? And for the algorithm folk, this one is more for you. It's for us. So as the title says, I know absolutely nothing about K-pop. I know some words such as bias and debut. I know some groups like New Jeans, Twice, uh, Stray Kids, T TXT, off the top of my head. How and why? I have an obsessed <coughs> cousin who I lived with for a little over a year before moving, and this girl's personality is Korea. Watching Stray Kids interviews, funny moments, interviews, compilations, everything! <laughs> but in July, this show called A2K starts airing on YouTube. And my cousin starts watching it. And of course, naturally, I am over it. But it's on the TV and I have nothing else to do. So I watched an episode and I was like, okay. I watched another one! And unfortunately, or fortunately, I was hooked. And I think it was episodes three and four. So of course I had to go back and watch one and two and the rest is history. <laughs> and why am I talking about this? Why am I investing my time and energy into this and editing and the whole process? Because I'm invested and it makes me happy. Okay, let's get some stuff out the way. Let's talk about this in a way a more broad audience can understand. A2K is a survival competition show. Girls audition to be selected for evaluation to be in a girl group. They venture from Atlanta, Chicago, New York City, Dallas, and of course, Los Angeles. So 11 girls had made it through the auditions. Oh my God, this is gonna be a bitch to edit. Grabbing all the clips and all the references and all the vid. Oh my Lord. It took me well over half of the 22 episodes to remember all their names. So here we go. We've got Misha, Melissa, Yuna, Christina, Gina. Yeah, I went there. KG, Lexus, Kendall, Kaylee, Savannah, and uh, this is embarrassing. I f forgot Camila. Now, we are building up the inside jokes here that we will be explained later on. You'll all understand the humor. And to somewhat condense our conversation, I don't really remember much of the first 15 episodes where they're in LA. It was Little League. They were pretty much auditioning to go to South Korea. They were tested on singing, dancing, star quality, which was this thing where they just put on like a talent show, and character where they were just interviewed for a bit. These 11 individuals stood out and they were given more chances to show their talents. And with our 11 individuals selected, only nine made it to South Korea. Misha was not selected at all and Melissa had withdrawn from the convert competition after making it. But Misha and Melissa are still out here doing their thing. They've collected quite a fan base from the show. I think just bam, bam, they're on the screen right now. <laughs> Once everyone arrived in South Korea, individual performances began because they had a six month gap from LA to now. They had to show what they were made of after all that time. Now that's a fat ass time skip, but now I want to provide some comments on the nine members in the order of their performances. I don't want to be around any bushes, so some contestants are gonna get more commentary than others. I'm sorry. Hey Lee, the youngest contestant at 13, I think 12 when it started, is badass. I think she was one of the two that knew Korean already as all the contestants had to learn it and she was all around the heavy hitter in dancing, singing, and acting. Or pretty much just facial expressions while performing. Kaylee at episode 2, which is when her audition was, is not the same person as she is in episode 22. It's pretty cool that you can see her grow up and level up throughout the comp throughout the course of the competition. She was actually chosen to be one of the two leaders in a later on evaluation, so that just goes to show how much she slaps. Kaylee's skilled, she rocks, and she loves and supports everybody. <laughs> Kendall is one of those where I didn't feel much towards her, but she A, not only made it first in the evaluations you're seeing on screen, but was one of the four voices for the show's freaking theme. 
I think I'm starting to understand this whole bias craze. Some people just hit you harder than others. Overall, I think Kendo is a solid performer and she really sticks out with her eyes. They're so anime-like. Hey, <laughs> Bro, this girl has faced so much criticism. I checked the YouTube comments. I've been on the A2K Reddit. Even my cousin was like, I want to see her dance more. <laughs> oh, I get it. They is supposed to be showing off their progress and growth after six months. And here she is playing the goddamn guitar on a chair. But, dude, trust the process. There's no way she would be here if she did not have dancing potential. Come on. Who else knows how to play instruments here? I don't think anyone else. KG's rendition of Blue by Leanne Rhymes put me onto the actual song, and it's one of my current favorites. And I've put KG's performance on a few times, even in the car, actually. All this speculation and slandering and <laughs> for nothing. She was nothing but praise for her betterment in dancing in the following evaluations after this. KG is hands down one of my top three members here. Let's get a little fist bump for the underdog. She's probably the best singer too. Now the case with Christina. I really enjoyed her presence, which is something I'll mention later on towards the end. And it's an important note. Christina's a good dancer and a lover of rap. Now hip hop wasn't the most common shared interest amongst the members from what they showed us. So listen, she's got this swagger and extrovertedness that many of the members are lacking. We are going to mention that fact at the end of the video. Christina, decent singer, cool person. I'd be friends with her. Gina! <laughs> Gina is a special case as she's been in this world of South Korea and I believe she's the second person to understand the language. She was a trainee, which uh, means she got signed to the company to train to become an idol. Which uh, just means uh, South Korean... Uh, she got signed to train to be a Korean star. Jesus. So this lifestyle of evaluations wasn't anything new to her and her performance would never roast it too hard except when it came to expressing emotion. However, capital comma, she got better. And just like Christina, I will disappointingly mention her later again. Gina 2.0 is where it's at. Oh, I've been holding it, but I gotta blow up the bathroom. That's the meaning of life right there. Notice my angle was a little off too. There was a lot of space up here earlier. Let's continue with these contestant commentaries. Camila is like that person that's good at everything. Let's say you need to fix a leak or something. Call Camila. You need, a he you need help moving. Call Camila. Gotta change your oil. Bro, call Camila. LOL. This girl ranked high on everything. She's one of my favorites actually because of how freaking consistent she was. And she was loved by everyone. They would have these moments on the show where they would display cooperation and friendship. And throughout every week, forgot how many there were, they would vote on like their favorite teammate or who's just the most helpful. It's so something like that, right? And Camila did, I believe, placed number one. Hard hitting skills and a nice human being. Come on. Lexus. Lexus, Lexus, Lexus. Lama. <laughs> no lie, I've got nothing. I'm sorry. I know she's loved and a lot of people rooted for her. I got nothing. I do have a few words for her at the end though. And I will say I enjoyed this part of her dance. She pulled it off pretty great. We are not beating around the bush here with Yuna, friends. I'm gonna say the thing. She ended up losing. The rules were if you ranked last twice in the evaluations, you were out. And that's what happened. It's like a sad puppy situation. She had struggled to keep up with the other members and when push came to shove, it was just her time to leave the stage. Although she had gotten eliminated in the next evaluation. Yuna rocks though. Much like Christina and Gina, she brought something to the group that many do not seem to do. Yo, Yuna, you, you get the hug, man. Forget a, forget a fist bump. <laughs> There's one left, finally, OMG. Bro, Savannah is in my top three. This performance was it. I think the choreography and the song itself going this hard does help, but the fact she pulled it off and her ankle was a bit busted is the cherry on top, man. Am I becoming a Stray Kids fan? I feel like Savannah is definitely one of those performers that you just give her a dance and she's just gonna pull it off. She's got it, no stress, no concern. And for that, Savannah, you get the fist bump.
I do want to go over the team evaluations before the finale, so let's see how quick we can make that. Three teams, showcasing their skills in a group setting and how they've evolved. Because after the six month gap, they did spend three months total living in South Korea for the duration of the show. The first team was Kendall, Yuna, and Lexus. And if you remember from when I just said, I'm indifferent towards Kendall and Lexus. Kendall being first in the last evaluation gave me confidence in her, but she was grouped up with the 7th and 9th place members, so it was a bit nerve wracking to watch this, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't think much of it, and this is where we lose Yuna. It's very tragic. Team 2! Camelia from 2nd place, Christina from 6th, Gina in 8th. <coughs> but this is Gina 2.0 we're talking about here, so this girl is chilling. Robot Gina has been killed. Christina is full of flair and Camila is an ace, so obviously they did well. And, like Savannah Pryor, they had a Stray Kids song. I'm not saying anything just yet, but this performance is goaded. There's a reason for that. And you'll find a reason why in a bit. And you probably already know why, if you don't know. Come and shine now. Hey. That was a slam dunk ass of a performance. Team 3 is 3rd place KG, 4th Kaylee, and 5th Savannah. Pretty balanced there all throughout, and I've got nothing to say here except KG proving that she could improve her dancing. There are a lot of posts on the subreddit you can find just by typing KG dancing. And here we go! She proved them wrong! <laughs> and, you, and you can find a comment on the video itself complimenting KG, so props to her. Nerds. Yuna lost, there were tears, it was emotional. I'm really gonna miss them. But we have to move on to the finale. This is where the callbacks and the inside jokes from the beginning of the video where I called out the order of contestants comes into play. And some other stuff I've been mentioning. The finale consisted of two groups, two performances each. Round one was different songs, round two was the same song. Team one was Camila, Gina, Lexus, and Savannah. And to be quite frank, that is not fair. You have Camila, who's just number one across everything, all the boards. You have Gina 2.0, who has experience in all this training and unlocked her confidence. Savannah is awesome, a machine at dancing. And Lexus, that girl overcomes all her flaws. Camila was the leader here. Team two was Kendall, KG, Christina, and Kaylee. Goddamn, with Kaylee being the leader. Why is this lineup unfair? Concerned with KG's dancing, although she has improved, and Kendall and Christina aren't the most powerful singers. And nothing against them, but when you have such an overpowered team as the first, that's kind of booty, man. Camila's team won the first round, obviously. I think I prefer theirs as well, so no complaints. We're all friends here. Now, the final performance to see who makes the final group. They perform the same song, and this is where we fight the winner. Now, <laughs> obviously, Camila's team won, and there was an instance or two where I liked their dance more, but Kaylee's team's vocals really made it for me, and they sounded more suited for the song. Whatever though, whatever. Here's who got accepted as a member of the Global Girl Group. Finishing first place, and also first confirmed member of our new girl group. Congratulations, Lexus. Lexus. <laughs> Caught me off guard because I thought Camila would be first. Second place, also a confirmed member of our new girl group, KG. KG. Caught me off guard due to lacking some skills, but her voice is so damn powerful, so she deserves it. But again, I thought, if not first, Camila had to be second. Number three. And you knew this was coming. Camila. Everyone that watched, we knew it was. That's like saying uh, if Tom Brady got selected for a football team. Sports, am I right? Finishing fourth. Another confirmed member of our new group. Congratulations, Savannah. Savannah. Obviously, run that individual performance back. Congratulations, Kaylee. New Korean already, is a great dancer, good singer, 
knew how to express emotions and was placed as the leader of a team, even though she's the youngest. So going into this, as the episodes came and they loomed, I assumed everyone was going to make the group. I mean, obviously they are. And then the preview for the last episode was like, Only we have one last spot left of the final member of the group. It was not easy to not select you. We just couldn't select you yet. You, meaning an individual, was not going to make it. So the stakes just got that much more crazy. And then this happened. Unfortunately, we have one last spot left of the final member of the group. And I was crushed, man. I ended up recording bits and pieces of my reactions for the last episode as I did watch all 21 episodes with my cousin before this final one. She watched it alone and I watched it alone due to time constraints. So here is some of that. I'm about to start this last episode. Episode 22, the final members. Bro, Christina's not gonna make it. It has to be Christina. I, I'm not ready. They got super emotional on, on the, the preview of episode 21. And I'm just, this is the one, I'm just gonna do it. Ah! Team Clover or Team Kaylee is about to go and let me flip this around. I'm nervous for them. They have been the underdogs. As soon as the other team, what was a topic with Camila, Savannah, Gina, and Lexa, they, they are overpowered. That's They got Goku and Vegeta on the lineup. And then you have like Goten and Trunks. Oh my God, on this team. This song's actually good. And I think they're doing well, but I don't know anything. <laughs> What is this about? Listen. <laughs> Just saw Team Topic do their version, their rendition, and I think I liked Clover's performance better. Which is surprising, or is it really? What's Lexus? What? And also, first confirmed member. It's Camila. Of our new girl group. <laughs> it's Camila. Lexus. What the Lexus. fudge? What? <laughs> what? What? Dude, how is how is KG second? I think she was my favorite. She is my favorite, but. Uh, the trajectory of and the performances and the praises and the evaluations. Where's Camila? <laughs> and you knew this was coming, Camila. There we go. And yes, we did know. <laughs> Congratulations, Savannah. Savannah. Yeah, I don't think. Savannah. Let me flip this. I don't think I have any more anticipation. Like those top three was it. Especially the, the anticipation waiting for Camila and seeing and being surprised by who was ahead of her or selected ahead of her was it. And then the rest is just like, okay, of course you're selected, of course you're selected, of course you're selected. Until the last one. Until the last person is selected. <laughs> Since I'm not betting on Christina, I need to be surprised if she is. I need to record. What the f- Well, there are still- So Kaylee just made it, but- whose names are not Oh, it's gonna be Christina. Dude, these two are in. Ah! Unfortunately, we have one last spot left of the final member of the group. Wait, there's three left. I was baited, bro. I was so convinced that Everyone was going to make it and only one person was going to be left standing alone, not selected. <laughs> this sh oh my gosh. Oh my god. I think it's gonna be Gina because she's trained and she has gone from a robot to being this expressive person. While Kendall, I feel like her vocals always get criticized. They're not strong enough. And Christina's just very slept on. I don't I don't know, man. This is fucking wild. 
It's Gina. And the final member of our next paper. Oh my god. And then the winner was revealed. Congratulations, it's Kendall. Whoa, 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 whoa! I meant to pause it and it flipped the camera to get my reaction when they called it. Created through A2K. Lexus. They're announcing this while the two non-selected people are just standing in the background. Oh my gosh, I would be dying. <gasps> and there's confetti and shit. Come on! They're celebrating confettiing while the two are standing in the back. Ah! <sighs> Them, you know, like especially uh, how how much I appreciate both of your talents. So uh, as long as you stay focused, there will be opportunities that you can choose from. Trust me. <laughs> oh my God. Like yep. This? Kendall beat out Gina and Christina, and I'm not entirely bothered by the decision at hand. Over the course of the last three months, watching them all, I've grown to like all these members. But before we get into the heartwarming stuff, I do have to offer some criticism because I care enough to have an opinion. Christina and Gina have the most personality. I am not the only one. I'm not. <laughs> Christina commented, reacted, and always had something to say about her performance. She made things fun. She had pizzazz. Look at her face. Look. Oh, oh. Yeah. oh my God. As for Gina, I have two moments in mind that highlight the life in her. From the individual evaluation to the group performance, she seemed to change so much. She would smile now and just radiate it. Moment one is when the top three favorite voted teammates went out to the amusement park and Gina does this. Ready, should I bark? <clears throat> oh my gosh, she's gonna bark, she's gonna bark. <laughs> she's gonna bark. <laughs> oh my bark. While Lexi just cowers away. And this goes for Christina as well. The both of them were gonna have a full on stroke when an idol appeared. So the proof is in that pudding. And also, Yuna liked to vlog. I really forgot about that detail. She liked sharing the time that she had with her friends. Oh my god. Oh. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming. These three girls stood out socially is the point that I'm trying to make. And now they're all gone. Moment of silence. And now that I fought for the lost girls, let's move on to the finale of this video. So Kendall, KG, Camila, Kaylee, damn that's a lot of cuss sounds. Lexus and Savannah. As I said before, not too mad. If you watched all the episodes through July, August, September, the homies grow on you. The only poop part is losing some folks. Camila is a star with Kaylee right behind her. KG is a great singer while Savannah is a great dancer. <clears throat> and Kendall and Lexus are adored by fans. Now Kendall has gotten some hate lately from this photo on Instagram. But those people. <laughs> Especially Lexus. That girl has received so much love from her Hmong, I believe you say it, background. It's been nice reading up on some posts. I think their name, Vicha, is a bit odd. The reception has been rough and it seemed like the members were taken aback as well. At literal midnight, two hours after the final episode finished, they released three singles which were the songs performed in the finale. And dude, this is all hitting so fast, but first, that cover is a choice. After staring it down some more, I do like that lens circle effect that's around them, but that sky is... Uh, and there were some comments people made about them appearing to be whitewashed, at least some of the members. Aside from the singles releasing, they already have two live performances, and as of two hours from when I finished writing this video, 
they released their dance choreography. Stuff is moving fast, man. I need time to process this. There's a consensus out there that they're giving off a kid's bop or a early 2000s Disney vibe, and I think that's okay. They're aged 16 to 18, with the exception of Kaylee being 13, and they're gonna have time to grow. That's how this stuff works. You grow up, you produce different music, you develop. They will evolve with time and develop and change and blah, blah, blah. In terms of losing their star personality contestants, I think we're just gonna have to wait and see more behind the scenes, interviews, and whatever regular videos they upload to see their chemistry. I'm sure everything is going to be fine. These girls have worked with each other and have known each other for a year. Misha, Melissa, Christina, Gina, and Yuna all have, at this point, over 40,000 followers on Instagram. So they made out pretty well, and I'm sure they're gonna have opportunities for them wherever. They're set. And Gina even released a music video herself at the same time Vacha released theirs. <laughs> Although they lost, they're still blessed with adoring fans and opportunities. What started off as curiously watching a competition the same way I'd watch Hell's Kitchen or any Gordon Ramsay show for that matter turned into me being a blabbering fan in which something I think I can contribute conversation to. What have I become? I think large in part of what's made me a fan of this whole concept and wanting to follow this group is that they're achieving their dreams. They're still young, like I said, 16 to 18 and 13 with Kaylee. So they're, they're not filled with that adult dread, that doom and gloom. This group, being in this group is giving them an opportunity to not have that stormy cloud over their heads. It's always nice to see a success story, especially a wholesome one. I honestly haven't felt this interested in something in a while. And while I don't know anything about K-pop, I actually love JYP's A2K. Man, this is gonna be so disgusting to edit. The script is around 3,000 words long, man. Two last mentions is, oh my gosh, look at this. It just sucks not seeing Yuna, Christina, and Dina there. It's like characters leaving off a show. Your favorite characters are gone. And that Kaylee is from Philly. It's always cool knowing something local to ya. I'll slap up the Blue Beetle photo at the Museum of Art in front of the Rocky Steps. <laughs> I hope this video hits the feeds of the fans because those guys are passionate. I'm passionate. Leave a comment if you want to discuss. Hit that like if I entertained ya. And subscribe <laughs> if you like my personality. I'm on this wave right now of roping in my other interests on top of my already existing film talk catalog. And as always, love what you like because people love to shit and hate, but be passionate in your interests. Push.